What's up guys, this is Alex with GuitarForce.com. Today we're going to take a look at Easy Rider by Jimi Hendrix. This was another supported request by Paul, so big thanks goes out to him. Now this is uh, only a part of this lesson. Uh, the rest of the lesson you can purchase at GuitarForce.com, which is going to include all the uh, parts with the little solo and also all the uh, necessary tabs. Unfortunately, I don't have the backing track for this song, so we'll have to uh, deal with only guitar parts. Um, also, if you're interested in uh, Jimi Hendrix's style of playing, I have this huge uh, lesson um, which is in two parts. It's called Get Experienced and there is a ton of information on, <coughs> on Jimi Hendrix's style of playing. So, if you're interested, the uh, link is going to be also in the description box down below. So, please uh, check it out. Uh, now, back to the lesson. Uh, for this um, lesson, I was using, the, again, the VST plugin guitar rig for my sound and I'm going to show you the picture of the preset. Um, the tuning for this song is going to be E flat, uh, so it's a half step down on all the strings, all right, all of, str all of the strings, half a step down. And uh, while you're checking out the picture of the preset, I'm going to play you my low E string for your tuning reference. Also guys, please keep in mind that the original version of this song, which is featured on the album uh, First Rays of the New Rising Sun, has like three different guitar parts. You can still find some uh, live versions uh, and they all differ from each other slightly. So what I did, I kind of put um, out of a uh, couple of versions, two, three versions, uh, you know, parts together so you can actually play them on one guitar, but we're going to be still heavily relying on the original uh, song from the first rays of the new rising sun. All right, so keep that in mind. So without further ado, let's take a listen to the intro part. Then we'll come back, close up, and start the lesson. Let's check it out. All right, so the intro of the song goes like this. <laughs> Alright, so this part we're going to break it down into three riffs with three alternate endings. The beginning is going to be exactly the same. And uh, we're also going to be using octaves here. Uh, first part of uh, the uh, riff is uh, we're going to be playing on the uh, A string and the G strings. First octaves. Now this one starts off on the off beat, so it's one and two and three. And so on the end of the third beat we start off playing. So the first three octaves starts off from the B second uh, position on the uh, A and the G strings, like I said, going to the fourth position, C sharp, then we get to the uh, D uh, octave, which is on the fifth position, and we play two times. Now keep in mind that Jimmy was um, uh, changing the rhythm all the time, so when you get to the D octave, you can either play two eighth notes or uh, let it ring out for a quarter note. Okay, or he would use uh, like two sixteenth notes followed by an eighth note. Okay, so different rhythms all the time. So these three octaves, uh, we play them one after the other, then it's followed by a low E string open, and then from this position we slide uh, like a grace note into the seventh position, so from the fifth to the seventh, uh, followed by two low E's again open. So, so far we got this slowly. Then we go on to the uh, lower set of strings, again playing octaves, so we're going to be playing on the uh, low E and the D strings. And here the first octave is sliding into the seventh position. Uh, again, grace note from the fifth. So we slide into the seventh, then we go down to the fifth and to the third and play it two times. Like that. Followed by a uh, low E string open. And now here we're going to have three different endings. So the first one is we slide in again an octave from the fifth position to the seventh, followed by two low E's open. So on the lower strings, second part, we have this. 
Okay, so this is the first ending. Then uh, we basically repeat the first part of the riff exactly the same with the slight uh, rhythm variation, like I said here. So again, we have um, on the uh, A and the G strings going from the second uh, position, going like that. <laughs> So as you can see, we play exactly the same, with the exception of the when we go on to the low E strings and when we play this part, exactly the same as the first one. And uh, the uh, second alternate ending is going to be uh, on playing the F sharp uh, octave, which is on the second position. So uh, again, the second part slowly goes like this. Also, when you get to the uh, third um, third position of the octave, you can have a slight uh, bend here on the third fret of the low E when you play it second time, and then go into the F sharp uh, octave. Then we have the third time. So again, everything is the same with the exception of the last octave, which is we're going to be sliding from the third position into the fifth position. Okay, and then we go into So here we repeating the first part, the first three octaves, so B to C sharp to D. Uh, letting it ring out for a quarter note, and we repeat it one more time, and the third time, and when we play the third time, after that we go into into this octave, which is going to be on the um, it's a G octave on the D string, and also B string, so fifth position. Okay, so we pick it. Um, a few times and then we go into the next section into the next section which sounds like this So this part we're going to break it down into two little parts and the reason for it uh, is because um, on the original track where uh, Jimmy's playing three different guitar parts you can hear the riff going on and also the melody but when he plays live uh, he includes this, um, this uh, melody which is uh, being played in the beginning. So we're going to do the same. The melody itself goes like this, the first part. So it starts off on the B string, 12th fret, bends up and bring it down, full step. Then we go to the G string, 14th fret, bend up, full step. Then one more bend and bring it down. Add some vibrato and then the last note is going to be 12th on the G string. So the first part. Then the second part. So again on the B string, 12th fret, bend up a whole step, bring it down. Then go for the G string, pick the 14th fret, then bend up. Then another bend up and bring it down. And then the last two notes are going to be 12th on the G. And the last note, 15th fret, bend up on the B string. So the second part. Like that. So when I put together both parts, goes like this. So after that, we go for the main part of the song, which is uh, being played during the verses as well. And uh, we have a riff here going on, and it's a kind of chromatic riff. Starts off with the uh, E. E major chord, and then we go to F, F sharp, G, and uh, if you just get the lower strings kind of octaves, that would be alright. You don't have to play the whole chord. 
So it goes like this, E, F, F sharp, G. When we get to G, uh, you have two options, either um, stay on this chord for a quarter note or just pick it to eight notes. Or like that. Then we continue with the uh, chromatic pattern, so we go <coughs> here on the lower string, on the low string, low E, four to five. So we continue and go into the D chord. Now here Jimmy is playing a little lick, which is um, after playing the D chord, uh, we slide into from the seventh fret to the ninth, and then playing this part of the chord. So it's kind of going from the major chord into the first position, and the, into the first inversion of the chord. And then uh, the last two chords are going to be A to G. And here Jimmy is again using different uh, rhythms, so you can either play for a uh, quarter note each of the chords, and also keep in mind that these chords are being played on the off beat. Or you can just uh, pick uh, the uh, chords uh, like two eighth notes or sixteenth notes, whatever, you know, you can come up with any kind of rhythm you want to as long as you uh, play uh, these chords in the, in the, at the right time. So together, all of, the, of this riff kind of chord progression goes like this slowly. <laughs> So this is the first um, ending, and then we have another alternate ending, it's exactly the same, so we play uh, the uh, chromatic chords. When we get to the D chord, after that we have... It's um, octaves, again, we're going to be playing octaves here, going between 4th position to the 5th position, so on the A string, fourth on the G6, and uh, we alternate this with the D octave. And again, Jimmy is using different rhythms uh, here, uh, sometimes playing for two whole bars, or playing the first part, and then staying on the D um, octave here. So, you know, it's up to you, you can use different variations. So if I would play the second part of this riff, slowly goes like this. So now if I put two variations together back to back, slowly would be like this. So these are the two main variations of the main riff of the song which is uh, being played uh, during the verses. Now of course keep in mind, and I have to say this again, that Jimmy was using different rhythms all the time, you know, but this is like a sort of uh, the base of, um, of this riff. And uh, after that we have uh, during the uh, two verses again the um, melody which is slightly different from the beginning uh, and it goes like this. Alright, so as you can see again, the first part is uh, exactly the same, playing the B string, 12th fret, bend up a full step, bring it down. This is like a, from the second variation that he plays from the, from the beginning of uh, the riff of the melody. So we have uh, bend on the B string, 12th fret, then we go to the G, picking the 14th and bending it up. Then again, bend up and bring down, then we go to 12th fret on the G, followed by 15th fret on the B string, bend up a whole step. And here we add two more notes, so you bring down, pick it, and bend up again. So one more time from the top. Okay, and then the second part. So here we repeating the first part exactly the same until we get to the last note, which is going to be now on the high E string, 14th fret. So you pick the 14th fret and uh, bend up a half step and then go to the full step. So one more time. 
and then add some white vibrato to the last note. Also in the end of verse 2 we have a slightly different ending before going to the next section and it goes like this. <laughs> So as you can see, it's exactly the same thing. We only uh, play this part for two bars, so it's a little bit longer. And then what we do for the next part at the very end, we go uh, to the um, D and B strings, again octave, the G octave, and we play again uh, between the fifth position and moving down one fret, fourth position. So for one bar and then for the last bar, for the second bar, we just stay on this G octave before going to the next section. So one more time, the whole thing slower goes like this. Alright guys, so that was it for this part. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar related stuff and also you can uh, purchase the rest of this lesson if you like it. Um, so uh, till next time, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.